Hi everyone, welcome back to the Remote Collective channel. In today's episode, we're going to interview Luca, the CEO of a company called eRento, the largest marketplace for renting things online in Europe. Well, why are we interviewing Luca? This company is known so much for their allowing their employees to work remotely and we want to find out what that's all about. So let's dive right into the interview. Before we get started, we just want to give a shout out to Office R&D, who is our sponsor on today's episode. They are a co-working management software company that helps workspaces around the world deliver better experiences to their customers. They share our values of promoting and championing remote work, and they've been our biggest supporters since day one. Okay, so let's continue. Hi, Luca. Thank hey. you so much for having us here on the show and letting us come by and interview you guys. So when we were first coming into Berlin, I asked around what kind of companies have really good remote work programs and eRento kept coming up all over the place. And I didn't even know what you guys did. I had to like look it up and like, you know, search you and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that you just taking the time to sit down with us. Um, and there's so many people who are, are companies that are thinking of you know, starting remote work programs, but a lot of them don't even know what the options are. They don't know where to start. So mm -hmm. if you could share with us some of the things that you were telling me before that you guys do with your team. Yeah, sure, very happy to do so. Um, so at the beginning, we started offering home office to people. Mm -hmm. um, and in the beginning, it was very limited. I think, I don't know, I think we tried with once per month or twice per month, also depending a bit on the, on the, on the position in the company. Um, and this somehow came because we saw some other companies are offering that, some people were asking for it, um, and some things were just a lot easier for employees if they could stay at home, do work from home. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they had some deliveries or certain things going on and it was just much easier for them. Um, but then eventually we started reading and researching what other companies are, are doing in the States and what are, they're trying out. Um, and we were quite inspired by the company called Basecamp. Mm -hmm. um, and we started reading that the productivity is good, that people are very happy. Um, and we also wanted to differentiate ourselves uh, towards all the other companies in Berlin. Um, and also, um, yeah, we, we thought that this could, that offering remote work and being more flexible with, with working times um, is going to improve our, our employee retention. Mm -hmm. And then as the first thing, we offered much more flexible home office or remote work. Um, we have a very international team, so they're traveling home sometimes over the weekends and it's much easier if they can stay additional day, work from home. They have much more out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then eventually we did a four day work week uh, last summer in, in July. So we wanted to do a test and see um, if this would work out well. Uh, we limited it to one month because we were not sure how this is going to mm -hmm. turn out. Um, so how'd it go? Uh, it went really, really well. So we, cool. we set up KPIs for every single uh, department mm -hmm. and we told the people that that's something that we would like to offer to them, that's something we'd like to do in the future, but that they have to make it work. So we mm -hmm. still had to get the performance uh, at the end. And after, after this one month, we looked at the figures and the sales figures were great. Uh, product development, productivity was great. Um, yeah, so the company was doing really, really well. People were very happy. They, they were super excited. I mean, you know, as we were doing that, they were calling home their, their <laughs> partners, they, their friends. They couldn't believe we were having that. And we were also sharing the office with some other companies. And they were all asking, wow, how, how do you guys do that? And, and how does it work? And everyone wanted to have that, obviously. So we had this very, very positive uh, culture impact. Mm -hmm. And then this year in, in February, we offer to the whole company that we take them to Tenerife. Mm -hmm. uh, during winter in Berlin, it's quite cold and gray and, and not so nice. And we said, let's go to Tenerife. We are gonna get a co-working space there. And uh, then pretty much half of the company took this option and we went there. Uh, the internet was great. It was uh, sunny, warm, so. Wait, hold on. So you had everyone just come work remotely in Tenerife? We, we, if they we, wanted to. We, yeah, we offered it to everyone. Uh, <laughs> and then you offered them a co-working space to work from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to point out that that's amazing. Yeah. Just keep going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, so it, and it was really, really cool. I mean, everyone really loved it. It was, we had a real summer there, 25, 27 degrees. You could go swimming, the food was great. 
Um, we did a lot of activities after work and it just felt, even though you were having a normal work schedule and, and everything, still you had so much out of the day and you could really enjoy the weekends and explore a new island. And I think it was also a really great bonding experience yeah. uh, for, for the whole company. So that's something we definitely want to um, pretty much do on an on, on every year basis. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we are doing this year in the summer, we're having a four day work week. Uh, pretty much for the whole summer, so from June till, till August. Uh, and again, it's a very same principle as last time. So we asked everyone, we believe we can make this work, but it's your own responsibility. And um, I think here it's really important. We have, we have this culture that people have a lot of ownership on the projects mm -hmm. they work on. So it's, we, don't, we don't have to really micromanage them or control them. They know what are their targets. They know that we have to, to reach those. Um, and yeah, I, I'm quite confident this is going to work out really, really well. Um, so our experience is really, really good. And if, if I think about the, the impact this had on, 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 on the company, uh, we had a really big uh, employee turnover. So mm -hmm. it was, I don't know, 50, 60% per year, uh, even sometimes. And I think pretty much we did also some other cultural changes, but since we started also offering that, I think in a year and a half now, or almost two years, we didn't have a sing single employee leaving. So uh, I, I think the benefits of this are, are, are really, really strong. So that's definitely something we want to do. So this is what we're offering to people who are, who are uh, in, in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And we also have a part of the development team uh, working completely remotely in, in Slovenia. So, and that's also doing, it's working really well. Communication is good, productivity is good. Um, everyone is happy. So we have a good experience with that. I just think that all of that's amazing. Like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> like this is what I think most companies should aspire to be, and you guys are already doing it. So, yeah. so one good job. Like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> like we've been talking to a lot of companies, and I think they're all doing like um, almost like tiptoeing around it. Like maybe mm. we'll try this little thing, and you guys are like, no, we're going yeah. all the way, and you're yeah. making a statement about it. And I think that's something I really respect. Thanks. Um, what? I guess my next thing is why. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of a lot of companies are doing this. And they have various reasons. So I just would love to hear, like, what is the main reason behind why you guys are offering this? Yeah, um, I would say one of the reasons is that we saw that when people work from home or, or remotely, sometimes they're even more productive. Mm -hmm. And this goes even for positions, for example, as sales, we are doing a lot of, uh, of telesales. Mm -hmm. And some people just prefer to have their quiet environment, be at home, um, organize their schedule as, as, as they like. And we saw that this in increases productivity. Mm. Also, some employees usually have to travel quite a, a long time to the office and they, they can save a lot of time by sometimes working from home and mm. um, they're, they're much happier. So one was the, the employee happiness, employee retention. Um, and then the other one came more from a need. So in Berlin, every company wants to hire developers. And at the same time, when you have a lot of companies wanting to do the same thing, then there are very few developers le left and, and, and the market prices are going up and up. And then we started looking what are some other options, how we would like to do that. And then we decided to do, to do a test and, and, and hire part of the development team uh, in Slovenia. Um, we, we fully integrate them. I, I think it's extremely important that you really treat them as, as part of your own team and not as just some outsourcing freelancing company. Um, they, they flew over at the beginning for, for a week and then the next month we flew over and then they flew over again. So I think at the beginning it's very important we have this bonding exercise and that they, they know everyone. So later on communication is easy and uh, they know who to address for certain uh, topics. And yeah, this, this started working really, really well. Um, and I think also this is preparing us uh, that all, all the processes are even more, um, let's, say, let's call it remote friendly. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think in the future, maybe in a year or two, we could have a company which is pretty much completely dis distributed. So people could work together if they want, but I, I don't think it's going to be necessary for, for most of the time. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So just to rephrase what you were saying, it helps you guys have a competitive edge. So yes, can, absolutely. And then you can get talent, like the talent retention and people are happy yeah. and they sometimes maybe are even more productive. Yeah, exactly. They can have more, yeah. I guess, control over their schedule and their environment yeah. and everything. Exactly. Okay. I think a lot of people will love yeah. hearing that. And in addition to that, the, the, the one point I'd add, it also exp you expand the reach of, of the talent pool because mm -hmm. usually you're very focused on, on, on one city and mm -hmm. now you're really, 
I mean, we said for us, it's quite important that people are in the same time zone. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't want to have a too big of a time zone difference because I, th I think then communication and, and meetings and everything gets much more difficult. Yeah. Even though I saw some companies that are doing that as well. Um, but as, as long as you can do that, I, I think it's really expanding your reach of, of people that you can get. Um, and that's benefiting the company as well a lot. Yeah, because you can pick talent from this bigger way, bigger yeah, ocean than exactly. a small pond. Exactly. Yeah. So I guess my last question is, what uh, what would you say to companies who are thinking of starting remote work programs? Is there any tips that you would give them? Yeah, I, I, I think they can start very small. I think they don't have to go all in from, from day one. They can they can do a test and, and, and see how it works. They can then see what is the feedback of employees, check what are the KPIs, is it positively having a positive impact or not. Um, so I, I, I believe this is the future. That's why we're also implementing that, of course. Um, another tip that I would give to the companies is that communication is extremely important. You need to have really good communications. Even, even if you, are, you have people working remotely, uh, I, I think this is still a, a key. Mm -hmm. um, and you need to have this trust in, 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 your, in your employees so that they have really the ownership that you know they're doing their best work and that they have this uh, self-motivation to do something good for the company. And as long as you have that, I think this can work really, really well. And I, I think if companies try to do something like this one experiment and say, okay, for a limited time, let's say for a month or two, we, we will test something new and see how it goes, then you're risking very little and you can really see if, is this having a good or negative impact on, on your company. And I would say in, in most of the cases, companies will see there is a really big benefit. People are much happier and, and they will feel that. Uh, in, in the company. That's awesome. So test it out on something small. Yeah. See if stuff, stuff breaks, but it usually won't. Yeah, exactly. And then tons and tons of communication. Like exactly. Almost overly communication just to get started. Yeah, exactly. And then trust them to do it. Yeah. Because one thing I found is that when you give people that trust, they do extra to make sure that they have earned it. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, and and they, they really appreciate it. That's mm -hmm. a huge benefit for them. A lot of people said that for them, that's much more worth than money, for example. Mm -hmm. And they want to make it work, you know, it's, they want to have this benefit. It's, 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 it's improving their life, um, it's improving their performance. So they, they, they make the effort to, to really prove, okay, this, this concept is working. Yeah. So just to reiterate what, you said, reiterate what you said before, you think this is the future? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you yeah. so much, Luca, for letting us come and talk to you. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. Thank you. What a great interview with Luca. I feel like I learned so much about what a company needs to consider in order to transition to offering remote work and flexible hours for their employees. It's definitely a must have and I hope that all companies can learn from this and apply it so that they can keep and retain the top talent and also just have people be happy at work. If you liked the episode, hit like at the bottom of the screen and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on anything else. See you guys next time. Bye.